Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is a KB-2, it's the Tier 6 Soviet heavy tank. It's located on the east spawn of Airfield, and this one is under the command of HS Crying. Now, this is the Coronavirus KB-2. <laughs> yes, it says Coronavirus Quarantine on the side. And uh, yes, we thought we'd do a derp special on the KB-2. And so Rusty came up with a special skin, which says stay home and stay safe on the back. Well, as you all know, the KV-2, the King of Derp, it's basically horizontal arty. And that's why what RT Nibs is, is doing this special. It's an honorary arty, designed to knock out the Finnish bunters in the Winter War. It's a 152mm howitzer mounted on top of a KV-1 hull. And it's slightly heavier than a KV-1, a bit slower. And he just got a shot in the rear from that M10 RBFM, who probably doesn't realise that even though team damage has been taken out of the game, if you shoot one of your teammates in the rear, you won't be getting a high calibre, even if you do the most damage in the game overall. Well, HS Crying's gone up the side and he's just saw an enemy tank going into the pocket on the other side of the map. Now I noticed that HS Crying is French, so I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but he actually wrote in French after the battle in the comments, so I'm presuming that he is French. It's a tier 6 game, and looks like he's staying on this ramp for the moment to try and derp anyone who tries to come around the corner. Now he's loaded the HE. And with the HE rounds, you'll do 910 alpha if you can penetrate 86 millimeters of armor. And it's got a burst radius of... Oh! <laughs> it's KV-2! <laughs> and the KV-2 tries to fire back, but of course, at that distance, it's very difficult to get an accurate shot. But the KV-2 Matt does manage to derp the M10, who was being a bit of a nerd, or a nerd, being a bit of a jerk by shooting into our rear earlier in the game. But the KV-2 now knows where we are as well. And, well, he's not going to get an easy shot at us because we're so far away. It takes him a long time to dial in, whereas we're dialed in already. So if he does pop around the corner, he's going to take a round. Excelsior. Oh, now he lifted his aim just at the last moment. The shell went over the top of the Excelsior and exploded behind him. But it looks like those heavy tanks are taking damage. I think he shouldn't have lifted his aim, but there's also the KB-2. I saw it go through the field of view. I think he managed to pull around the corner before we fired that round. He's trying to get shots. Oh, there's the KB-2 again. Yep. We're loading again. It's 20 seconds, 21 seconds for the reload on this one. It does help to have BIA crew, a rammer, and... Uh, if you've got uh, premium consumables as well, that will speed up the reload. The skin, by the way, Sir Rusty made it. It is available. We'll put a note in the text beneath the video if you want to have one yourself. That shot didn't hit the target. He didn't shout Russia. You have to shout Russia if you want to get it on target. As Jingles likes to say, well, that's an arty round. Jingles likes to say that what you do is just pull the trigger and the dead hand of Stalin rises up out of the ground and kills whoever you are aiming at. Well, in actual fact, it's also uh, you've got to send enough um, dissidents to the gulag. Oh, another target. <laughs> Who's gone back to the garage? So that's his first kill. It's quite a very, it's a very, very good um, skin, this one. He's got one mark of excellence on that barrel. Actually, I just noticed that. Yes, it says coronavirus quarantine on the, well, just the biohazard symbol and quarantine on the barrel. Thanks to that T-14 who's spotting ahead of us, we are still getting shots on the enemy. The T-14 was just hit by an arty round. Uh, one tank down on the enemy at the moment. 
and looks like our OIs managed to get a kill and well our T14 just got a Cromwell but the enemy Nassau just killed our OI and there's the Nassau let's see if we can get a shot on him we can just make out the outline it looks to me like he's hiding behind a rock nope I think that hit the rock Still one tank behind on the enemy. It's not a normal place for a, a KV-2 to go up here. Most KV-2 would actually go directly to the front and try and derp somebody in the face. Close range. But there's nothing wrong with actually shooting from a long range. Especially if you can ambush the enemy. There are two tanks down now. The T-14 is still alive. I think he wants some help though. Well... HS crying is going to come down and help him. No joy from that. Ah, now he was seen when he did that. So somebody is within range and he can't see them. And yes, we just saw a round land nearby. We're outnumbered three to, uh, by three tanks now. Only four left on our team. Two Arties, the T-14 and HS crying in his coronavirus KV-2. And yes, he was spotted again. Just as he pulled forward. And he was there. There's a T-3485 and he just got hit by a T-67 as well. Just having a look where those rounds went in. Oh, one went through the turret. Can't see the other one. And a good arty round there from the gorilla just killed the Excelsior. Now the T67 is somewhere down the beach. Oh, the Nasson's behind us and he's killing the T14. And the M10 RBFM on the enemy team is making his way towards the arty. T67 still over there somewhere. Probably in the bushes. I aim for the bushes, but. Oh, kill! He lined it up and it wasn't in the bushes. He was actually elsewhere, but he just did a blind kill on the T-67. So there's only five enemy to kill now. And there's the T-14. Very low on hit points. The Nashorn's above us. Not sure if we can get a ray, elevate the gun enough to actually get a shot. And the T-3485 is trying to shoot us from behind. Oh, we just lost the T-14. The Nashorn jumped on him. But HS Crying finishes off the Nashorn. One shot. 
We take a round from the M10 RBFM. He's firing HE at us. Okay, we need to reload. It's that slow reload. It's the real pain for the KV2 driver. Okay, he's loaded. Can he kill the T-34 with one shot? I think he can. He spotted the SU-8. Has to kill that guy. Oh, he's managed to fluff up his shot. Finishes off the T-34-85. Now he just needs to kill the SU-8. But the SU-8 will probably reload before HS Crying does. And the enemy artists are still trying to get him. That was a shell from the M41 HMC. And the enemy is now capping. I think he's actually on for a Kolobanov if he can win this game. There's three enemy left. The SU-8 just around that corner. The M10 RBFM was in the cap. The M41 appeared to be firing from some distance away, but he did fire in this direction. There's the M10. Turns the turret. Can he get a shot? Yes! The M10's gone. That means there's just two RT left and HS crying. And the SU-8 comes out to take a shot. Will he fluff it? No, he doesn't. He gets a hit. But it's not enough to kill HS crying. And now HS crying's going to get him. Because there's no way he can run away. Even though he's based on the T-28. And that's the end of him. There's the M41. He might be able to get a shot on him. If he does, he wins the Kolobanov. He's got his top gun. Potentially got the high caliber as well. All he needs to do now is make sure that he drives over and carefully derps that uh, M41 and the M41 doesn't shotgun him. He's got a 155mm howitzer mounted on top of a chaffy hull. He's capable of doing 550 alpha. But he's out of the game and that is a Kolomanov medal as well as a Pascucci's for HS crying. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's a first class tanker for HS crying in the KV2. He managed to get a hand of God, a bruiser, duelist and a fire protect out of the minor medals. Out of the epics and the... Battle Heroes, he managed to get the medal everyone would like to get. The Kolobanov medal, he stood alone against five enemy tanks and wiped them out. He got a Pascucci's medal for killing two enemy RT, the SU-8 and the M41 HMC. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. And also a top gun for getting at least six kills. He ended up with seven, just one short of getting a Radley's. What a great game that was. Let's have a look at the team score. 2,431 hit points of damage for HS Crying. The next high scorer was the Griller on his team, who was a very good player. 1,876 hit points of damage for him. And then the T-3485 on the enemy team with 1683. When it came to kills, he had the highest number of them with seven. The next high scorer was the M10 RBFM on the enemy team with four kills. And then there was a number of tanks with two kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's got the top in all three columns. 1,321 base. 918 goes to the T-34 shielded and 900 to the T-14 who's stood with him shoulder to shoulder right until the end but unfortunately he got taken out by the Nashorn jumping on top of him and he got 900 XP he fired 14 rounds got 8 direct hits 6 penetration 2 splash damage of 2,431 hit points of which 696 were at more than 300 meters he received 10 hits from the enemy, 3 penetrations, 4 non-penetrations and 7 hits by way of splash damage. 460 hit points of damage blocked by the armour. He spotted 2 enemy vehicles, damaged 8 of the enemy, killed 7 and did 444 hit points of damage assistance. On a free player count he earned 30,423 credits and after repair and ammunition resupply took away 15,747 credits. He received 1,321 XP, 
times two for the first victory, took away 2,642 experience points altogether. So well done there to HS Crying, winning a, winning a Konobanov in the coronavirus quarantine KV2. And uh, uh, if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Stay home, stay safe, and thank you for watching.